how to save your Apple Pages documents on your Mac. Simply head to the top left corner, click File, and you will see the option to save. Click on that. If you are saving your document for the very first time, you will be able to give it a name and change the location. Then click Save. Right now you got a native Apple Pages file in that location. Some people get confused because when they try to click File and the Save again, it seems like nothing happened, all right? In that moment, you save exactly on the same file. So you're kind of resaving the same file. You don't need to choose the location again. But if you want to change the name or the location, just click here at the top, the name of the file, and you will see the name and location. It can be changed from here. And I got a new name. What if you are sending your file to somebody without Apple Pages? Then ask yourself a question. Do you want them just to see what is inside your file? Or you want them to be able to make changes? If you want them just to see your file or print it out, you can save it as PDF. File, export to PDF. Then confirm. And again, we choose the name and location for that new PDF. Then send that PDF document. But if you want others without Apple Pages to make changes, you may want to save it as a more common format Microsoft Word. Yes, we can do that here. So file, export to Word. All right, save. Again, name, destination, export. And that's how you save your Apple Pages documents on Mac. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.